heard one preacher say, he said, I never have any blue Mondays. I don't know whether he was telling the truth or not. I was never around him on Mondays. But it seems like that we all have a time that we enter into that is a challenge. Jesus had a challenge and it was called the garden. He went into the garden and he knew that one of the 12 was gonna betray him. And he began to pray and he began to say, Father, if it's possible, if there's any way around this, let this cup, let this happening, let this challenge, let this day pass away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. You see, even Jesus had those days that he had challenges come up and speak to him and face him. Let me say this. Don't allow what's happening around you to speak to you so you cannot see and hear what is already happening in the spirit regarding what God has promised you. Don't allow the natural to become louder in your life and cause a direction in your life than what God has said because we have entered the days of His appearing. We've entered the day of manifestation. We've entered the day of, promise to, uh, uh, of promises coming through. Hallelujah. And I'll encourage you tonight, whatever God has said to you, whether it's finances, whether it's healing, whether it's salvation, whether it's the gift of the Holy Ghost for you or for your children, you begin to walk up to your children now and begin to say, I just see the Holy Ghost all over you. And you might say, Dan, you're lying. If it's a promise from God, you don't have to see it with your 2020. In the spirit, it's there. Identify what's speaking to you. Identify that emotion that is changing your fixed position off of Christ. Jesus said, if you, don't get, if you don't get offended in me, stay fixed in me, stay fixed in what I said. Whatever God has promised you, begin to speak it, begin to say it. Stay fixed in that area.